Hello, we are going to cover OG fields. As a quick reminder, OG fields are tags seated in your category page that will drive the previews that other platforms show of your page when a user shares them. By default, Godaris uses the OG fields that you set as defaults for your website on the SEO screen and it also uses your category data that you have in your PIM. So if we take a quick look at the OG fields that are currently specified for this hardware category, we can right click and click on view page search. And we can see that these OG fields are, have already been generated for us. As usual, the type is going to be what's set as your stock default, which in your case is website. The OG title is going to be the meta title that you have set in your SEO section. If you haven't set any yet, it will use the category name for the title and the description will also be the meta description that you have set in your SEO section on your category. If you haven't specified the description yet, it will fall back to the description for your store. And the URL will be obviously be the category on your website. And the image will be the category's primary image. If you haven't yet set a primary image for your category, then it will fall back to the OG image that you have set for your store. Locale is basically the language that these other OG fields are read in. So if we go back over to the PIM and we are going to give a quick overview of how you can set these OG fields. So I am in the operations portal, categories page, and this is the category. So I'm going to the details. To set OG title and description for your category, you can go down to the SEO section and just as you did as a meta title, your OG fields pull from the same, from the same values. So for example, if I wanted to add a couple more exclamation points here and also here, So we have now updated our meta title and meta description. It will update both our meta fields and our OG fields. So let's just go back over to the website. I'm going to refresh this page. And as you can see, our OG description and OG title are now updated. And if we would like to preview what this would look like on a third party site, we can copy the URL and go to the Facebook debug tool, paste the URL here and click on debug. And as we can see, Facebook is generating a preview with our category's primary image. Our title has been uh, set for our SEO and the SEO description. So that's it. Thank you for your attention.